Hey, check it out, everybody. The wind's picked up pretty good. So, check this out. Turbine's up there running real good. Hey, Billy, is that you up there? That's my turbine's name, Billy. Hey, come, let's check this one out. This winter has been a very productive winter. I have built me a carport from salvaged materials. Still got to put the metal on the front. Um, believe it or not, that cost me almost $200 to build this 14 wide by 21 long carport. I have reanimated this one right up here. Chaos is a turbine I built for uh, autism. I have a grandchild with autism and uh, mild case, she functions okay, but she has her clicks and stuff, you know. But look at this thing go. Look at that one over there. I don't know if you can see it in the sun, but look at her go. That's with the Windy Nation blades. I have found that those Windy Nation aluminum blades, once you adapt the hub for to keep them from fracturing, that those things are absolutely bulletproof. All right, now coming up on the roof here, let me get a little closer to this sweet baby. This thing's been running for a long time and it got, had to be rebuilt. So this is chaos. Chaos's design is a simple design. It uses a scrap tail from Missouri and a Mexican hat design for, you know, ode to where the parts are made that go to Missouri. So, look at this design. For some of y'all who have no clue, it uses a Thermodyne PMA. Right there. PMA turns very easy. See, look at that. Not very much effort. No, hardly no cogging at all. There is a six wire slip ring from Hurricane Wind Power right there. Goes in the top. And this using an inch and a half pipe, this is how the slip wire was mounted. I hope you can see that. I have to reach up as high as I can. Oh, all right. So. It uses a standard 50 millimeter bearing, block bearing, and is bolted to a square tube. And you see here, with this offset design, it allows the torque, when this thing gets up to 40 mile per hour winds, to push itself out of the wind so it don't damage the PMA or the blades. Very handy off-centered centered design, kind of cool. All right, so it wants to turn real easy in light winds. Now, getting over here, past my solar array here and that and over there we have the little china turbine this one here i've nicknamed mr billy mr bill oh it's got some wicked look to it don't it listen to that thing not very high wind but it's producing power right now in a, at a pretty good pace all of them track well, as you can see out here on my place. But just giving y'all a little update. Let's go down there and shop. You can see my wiring. I'm about to start doing all my wiring. All right, coming off in here in the shop, you can see we have this big mess. Here is here is the uh, the meter. I don't believe you can read this for chaos. So it's been doing pretty good. Um, it's had uh, in the last. 30 hours, it's had, uh, what is this, 314 watt peak, 9.1 watt hours. Not too shabby. This one here is the Chinese one, and it's been mounted now about four days, four or five days. And here's what it's put out. And of course, it's had luxury of having more winds. But what we're doing is we don't have gray matter over here. That's the, the one with the funky tail uh, that, that does the fan up. And it doesn't fan this way like a regular furl. It actually has a twist up and then actually allows itself to come out. So that's a design of mine. It uses bearings and stuff. Bearings and a uh, uh, little U-joint. Now, here is the wires that go to, which, which will go to Chaos. That's the one with the colorful Mexican tail, Mexican hat tail. So this is the Chinese one, the red wires, and the white wires are the ones we're going to be bringing over to the oldest turbine on the roof, a Thermodyne turbine, a Hornet Wind Thermodyne 
whatever you want to look up, KT, that's how we're setting up. Now, we're going to be setting up by removing the switch and putting sheet metal behind here and notching it just for the wires to where it comes up and goes over the top, covers the wall back here, just for fire prevention because these can, can cause a fire. Be careful where you put them at. Uh, these are mounted on hat metal, you see, very nice setup for hat metal. And as it sits right now, the wires that's going to be going over to uh, over to the uh, gray matter turbine over here in the corner of the wall, um, that pipe right there, that is going to be these three eight gauge wires right here. So they're going to be going over there and we're gonna have all three turbines that are on the shop powering the shop. So this is, this is uh, Chaos's old PMA and it still works just fine. It still works without a problem, but I wanted to put my new design up there. This is a 14 magnet. Now, that one also is a 14 magnet, but I've done something different. We won't go beyond that right now. It's the reason it produces so much power. So, um, eight gauge is sufficient to carry this much power in three phases. And over here, back over here at the battery box and this is the big battery box i don't know if any of you guys have seen it Ow, loaded full of stuff here big l16s 14 of them in there um we're going with this is just temporary make sure i get everything hot and running uh, but this right here is going to have eight gauge also with fusing and then from here we're going to come down to a bus bar for the negative or for the positive actually the positive will go to a bus bar um, with a simple fuse between it um, the bus bar will mount to the surface of the A&L fuse so like you got this right here you're gonna have a bus copper bus bar adjoining the three A&L fuses and it will run back to here so that we can hook onto the big power lugs that are back behind all of this stuff this setup is for three turbines in the shop because I can build a better diversion system in here and using one of these, that's what we want to do. And we're diverting, so not too bad. There's my build. There's little micro fans built in. I don't know if you can see them underneath these uh, heat sinks for these uh, SSRs and they work perfect. And this gets nice and warm, keeps the room warm out in here. That's just a old high energy, the best one they ever damn built. And then they sold out to idiots in America. And, you know, it all went shit. So, all right, all improvement, all the shit's gonna be gone. This whole wall's gonna be nice and met, uh, different. And y'all just be watching. All right, guys.